Hello, welcome to Blender Time. Thanks for tuning in. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create this object. I will guide and show you the process step by step. Let's begin. First, make sure you have loop tools add on enable. If you need help, I have a video on my channel showing how to enable add ons. Let's begin by making an all quad sphere. Press 1 on number pad for front view. Select cube. Click on modifier icon. Add modifier. Subdivision surface. Click on view. Key in 3. Enter. Apply. Tab into edit mode. Click on mesh tab. Transform. Click to sphere. On number pad. Press 1. Press enter. Click on face select icon. Click on this face. Hold control shift. Click on this face. Right click. Loop tools. Circle. Press I for inset. Drag until about here. Left click. I rotate the view a bit. Go to shading and change to a brighter matte cap to show you the edges better. Press E. Drag until about here. Left click. Again. Press E. Drag until about here. Left click. One last time. Press E. Drag. Left click. Now press 1 on number pad for front view. Press S. On number pad. Key in 0. Press Y. Press Enter. This flatten faces along the Y axis. Now press I for inset. Drag. Left click. We have just created a hole with holding edges on the sphere. Now tab into object mode. Right click. Shade smooth. Click on add modifier. Choose subserve. Click view. Key in 2. Enter. If you are using a non-reflective material. This sphere is good enough and we do not need to do more work. Now, at top right, click on shading. Matte cap. Click on window. Choose check reflection. I press 1 on number pad and rotate the view. Notice the lines are a bit wavy. I change to another matte cap to show the reflection better. I choose Albert 07. This is an external matte cap. Special thanks to Weaven for making this. I have a video on where to find and add custom matte caps. Now I rotate the view. Notice the reflection of this line is deformed. If you want better reflection than this, we need to do more work. Let's continue. First I change back to a gray matte cap. This matte cap is easier on the eyes. Press 1 for front view. Tab into edit mode. Click on vertex select icon. Click on this vertex. Press and hold control. On number pad, press the plus key repeatedly until all these vertices are selected. Make sure to hold down control when pressing the plus key. I turn off the subsurf modifier to show you the selection better. Now I turn the subsurf back on. At top left, click on the select tab. Choose invert. This invert the selection. I rotate the view to show the selected vertices. Now we will create a vertex group. Go to right side of the screen. Click on the object data button. At vertex groups, click on the plus icon. This create a group for us. Click on assign button to assign the selected vertices to this group. Now we will add an empty. Tab into object mode. Click on add. Go down to empty. Click on plane axis. I go to top right. In the outliner. I click on this little triangle. 
Notice we have an empty here. Left click on sphere to select it. Click on modifier icon. Add modifier. Choose cast. Make sure cast type is sphere. Click on factor. Key in 1. Enter. Click on vertex group. Choose group. Click on control object. Choose empty. In the subsurf modifier, make sure the display modifier is turned on. Go to shading. Matte cap. Choose check reflection. I rotate the view to show the shading. Notice the lines are straight except those lines that are near the hole. We need to straighten these lines. This is the last step. On the number pad, press 3 for side view. We can see the lines better in this view. In the outliner panel, click on empty to select it. Now press G. Press Y. Hold down shift and drag the mouse. Drag until these lines are as smooth as possible. Holding shift gives smaller increment as you drag. Left click to confirm. I will show this one more time. I undo the last operation. Look at these lines over here as I drag. With the empty selected, I press G. Press Y. Hold down shift and drag the mouse. I drag until these lines are as straight as possible. Left click to confirm. Now I go to shading and change to another matte cap to show the reflection. Observe the reflection as I rotate the view. In my opinion, the shading of this sphere is very nice. If you are not satisfied with the reflection near the hole, you can redo the last step. Just select the empty and move it in the Y axis. Now I want to show you the effect of the cast modifier has on this sphere. Select the sphere. In cast modifier, turn off display. I rotate the view. Observe the reflection. Now I turn on display and rotate the view. As you can see, the reflection is better. Like I mentioned earlier, if the material of the sphere is not reflective, we do not need to do the extra work. I share this technique so that you know what to do if you want to have a smoother reflection. Note that the cast modifier makes the sphere smaller. If you want to correct this, select the sphere. Tab into edit mode. Press A to select all vertices. Press S to scale. Enter. Tab back into object mode. As you can see, the reflection is still good after scaling. That conclude our lesson today. It is my pleasure to share these techniques with you. There are more tutorials on my channel that might be able to help you. If you have any question, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and have a great day.